Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Brody, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, with our solo cast, we are going to talk about marketing. So the past two episodes, we have covered the first two questions that I always ask my guests. The first question, what is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? And then yesterday, we covered what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Today, we're going to talk marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. In regards to marketing, it definitely is a multi-tiered approach. Throughout our 295 episodes that we've done with our guests, they have shared many great strategies. What I'm gonna share with you today is what I feel is the best of the best. The first thing, and This has to be for those that are comfortable using social media. If you have already started writing your book, already start posting about it. Start talking about your journey, talk about your chapters, talk about your talking points. Take some of the content that you've already written, turn them into quotes, find some nice stock images, and then post those. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Utilize those different sources. And if you're thinking, well, I don't want to mess with all that, I don't have time to post on four different social media outlets, then go get Buffer. We use Buffer. It's $15 a month, and you post it one time, it posts to everything. All your different social media outlets, it posts for you. Just something to think about, where you can already start to talk about the journey. Because you want to get interest, you want to get excitement, building towards your launch, especially if this is your first book. Now, for me, a couple months ago, we went through a launch for my 14th book, which is Podcast 101. So we didn't overly hype it too much because we've already done that. And I think the best way for you to get momentum going into your first book is to post as much as possible. Now, are those going to help convert sales? Possibly. But what it's gonna do is create brand awareness. It's gonna help you potentially get reviews because I feel that's one of the most important things that you need is to get the word out and then to reach out to people for reviews. Now, in regards to reviews, are you gonna post that on social media? I wouldn't. What I would do instead is direct message people, people that have liked your pictures, people that have commented wishing you the best with your launch reach out to those people personally and go, hey, book's gonna be out in a couple weeks. I would love to send you an advanced copy. All I ask in return is when the book goes live, I'll send you a link and I just ask that you please grab a copy. It'll only be 99 cents, which is part of the marketing strategy. And if you could just leave a really quick review, um, and an honest review, then I would really appreciate it. Never ask for a five-star review. Always ask for an honest review Worst case scenario, you might get a couple four-star reviews to go with it, which is fine. It makes it look legit. The last thing you want is a bunch of five-star reviews starting at once without any type of constructive review with that. So don't be worried about honest reviews. They typically turn out very well. So that would be the first part of my strategy, especially if this is your first book. You like social media. The second thing is when your book is going to launch, then you need to have a system. Obviously with our company, we have done for you book launch marketing services. If you want to go that route, give give us a call, let us know. As I mentioned before, my email is brody at brodyconsultinggroup.com. You can also go to getpublishedpodcast.com, click on services. You can actually set up a session with our VP of operations with Devin. Now, am I pitching my services? No. The reason I bring this up is that we always talk about having a proven system. So if you're comfortable with doing the marketing yourself, go for it. The challenges are, is that there are millions of books coming out on Amazon every year. And if you do not market your book properly, then it is gonna disappear 
into the Amazon rainforest. And it's a, it's a sad but true fact. If you're not willing to invest in marketing, then it's going to be a challenge. Because brand awareness is great, but you need to have something that's going to give that book a spike. And that is having a book launch marketing system. Now, if you guys want to grab a copy of Get Published, the second edition, then just go to our website. We offer the free book. We have some marketing strategies in there. We also share a few book promos in there as well. One that I'll share with you guys right now, I firmly believe that you need to have your book for free for several days, and then it needs to be 99 cents for a few days after that. I'm referring to the Kindle version of your book. I'm not talking about the paperback. I'm not talking about the audiobook. I am talking specifically about the Kindle version. That's what we utilize for the launch. So you wanna have it for free for several days. Now, there is one company in particular that I absolutely love to use when it's free, and that is Freebooksy. You can go to freebooksy.com, promos usually between $80 to $100, and it's gonna get you several thousand downloads. So if you're gonna go the free route, definitely look at Freebooksy to get your book out there to as many people as possible. When your book goes to 99 cents, there are multiple book promo companies that you can utilize. One that I'm going to mention in particular is Buck Books, Matt Stone. We actually did an episode with him a few months ago. The episode went over an hour. Matt is a marketing genius. We had an awesome conversation. I highly recommend that you check it out. Great guy. And Buck Books is a great book promo service to utilize when your book is available at 99 cents. So right there, just utilizing those two different book promo companies will help you with your launch. Now, with our book launch marketing service, we use over 20 book promo companies. Another thing that you want to do is potentially create a press release. We offer this as part of our services. You can actually Google how to do press releases. It's not very difficult. It just takes time. Another thing that you can utilize, and this is what I feel is the best long-term strategy. And ironically enough, I interview a lot of these people on the show, authors. And one of the main things they do is they get on as many different podcasts as possible. I have interviewed people on the show that have done over 100 interviews in a year. Now, personally for me, my schedule will not allow me to do that with having my own podcast. But if you do not have a podcast, and you have that, that type of time, then you definitely want to consider getting on as many podcasts as possible. Now, how do you do that? Well, listen to past episodes of the show. We've interviewed multiple authors that also have podcasts. They're always looking for guests. Another thing you can do, search on iTunes, search on Google, and find out some of the podcasts that are out there and in particular, that might be about book publishing or that are going to be about business and reach out to them. Go to their websites. There's typically a contact form. Go, hey, I would love to potentially be on your show, but talk about the value. Don't make it about you. So, so I'll give you an example. If I wanted to get on a show to talk about um, Podcast 101, I would reach out and go, hey, would love to be on your show. My name is Paul Brody. I have a podcast called Get Published. And would love to have you potentially on our show. Um, I feel like I bring a lot of value to your show because what we're doing right now is we have a book out called Podcast 101. And we're talking about how you can use that to help grow your business and build relationships. Would that be something you'd be interested in, in discussing? And that's it. We'll leave it at that. Leave your contact information. Would love to discuss further. Respectfully, Paul. Just something very simple like that. Create a template and reach out to as many podcasts as possible. That is the best way to have continued sales and momentum for free. Now, is, is it a little bit of sweat equity? Absolutely. Is it gonna take time? Absolutely. The other thing that you can do is utilize Amazon Marketing Services to keep the momentum of your book going. Because once your book is out of launch, you need to find ways to keep your book visible. The first 30 days are critical because that is your book launch. That is also when Amazon considers your book a hot new release. So it's also featured in those categories. After those 30 days, 
your sales are going to drop. And just depending on how much is your book going to drop, how much is it going to drop by? Because the ways to keep the momentum going is making sure that you market your book effectively for the launch. But outside of that, then look at Amazon marketing services. And one of the best ways to do that is have as many keywords as possible in regards to those ads. We have several episodes that we have talked specifically about Amazon ads. Definitely recommend you check some of those out as we go towards our 300th episode. But those are some of the best ways to keep the momentum going and also to do a relaunch. So typically I get asked, well, when should I do a relaunch in my book? Well, you can do relaunches whenever you want. What I recommend is typically three to six months in, go and do another relaunch of your book. Set the book to free for a few days. Have it available at 99 cents and get the momentum going on your launch again. You can also create a second edition. One of the nice things is when you create a second edition, Amazon considers your book to be a brand new book. So it's essentially like you get a reboot. They transfer the reviews over. It's just like we're starting over again, but you have your reviews, you have all your information there, and you can actually relaunch the book. So these are some of the marketing strategies that I recommend you do. Some of those do involve money, but some of those just involve time. And if you want to keep the momentum going for your book when it's out of launch, those are some of the best methods to do so. So as we wrap up our episode, I want to wish you guys all the best in your author journey ahead. And tomorrow, we're actually going to talk about our favorite book and favorite quote and why. So I hope you guys all have a great day. And as always, I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business Book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. 